Hello and welcome to Bob's Programming Academy. In this video, we present a cryptocurrency dashboard app built using HTML, CSS, Bootstrap 5, SAS, and vanilla JavaScript. This is what the cryptocurrency dashboard app looks like. At the very top, we have a header with a logo and a menu. Below the header, we have the statistics section. In this section, we can find today's date and the number of categories, exchanges, asset platforms, and market indexes currently available through the CoinGecko free API. Next, we have a table showing cryptocurrency market data, an image, name, symbol, current price, price change percentage within the last 24 hours, volume, and market capitalization. This cryptocurrency dashboard app is fully responsive and it looks great on devices of all sizes. This is what the project looks like on an iPhone 12 Pro. This is an iPad mini. Let's talk briefly about the tech stack we've selected for this project. Bootstrap is a free and open source front-end framework for faster and easier web development and is a great choice when we want to quickly build responsive and mobile-friendly web applications. Bootstrap includes HTML and CSS-based design templates for a grid system, spacing, typography, and various components such as buttons, forms, tables, navigation, alerts, and so on. Bootstrap also includes JavaScript plugins that allow us to easily add to our websites modals, popovers, tooltips, off-canvas menus, toggle-able hidden elements, and more. JavaScript in Bootstrap is HTML first, which means that we can use JavaScript just by adding data attributes to our HTML elements since nearly all of Bootstrap's JavaScript plugins include a data API. Bootstrap is very popular and many different websites use it. When we use Bootstrap with a pre-compiled style sheet, it has all the default colors, typography, spacing, and more that people associate with Bootstrap. If you are familiar with Bootstrap, you can probably recognize the distinctive Bootstrap look on so many websites all over the internet. When you use these styles for your own projects, they will look like Bootstrap unless you change the styles. This might be fine if you create a personal website or a happy project. However, if you have specific brand guidelines that your customers or users recognize you by, you will likely need to change these styles to match the style of your brand. Since Bootstrap is so popular and widespread across the internet, some people might recognize the default Bootstrap styles, which might negatively impact user experience. Sometimes even for your personal projects, you might want to use Bootstrap for all its benefits and at the same time, customize your web applications and apply your own design ideas so that your projects have a unique look. Bootstrap 5 can be easily customized in many ways. We can customize typography, colors, spacing, sizing, border radius, box shadow, and more across all components, as well as customize all the different components individually. We can also customize the helpers and utilities. The most important elements you should customize when building a web application are the color palette and typography, so that they will match that of your brand. There are multiple ways to customize Bootstrap. The choice of approach depends on your project, the version of Bootstrap you're using, browser support, the complexity of your build tools, and more. SAS, or Syntactically Awesome Style Sheets, is a preprocessor scripting language that is compiled into CSS. SAS is very powerful and it's a great way to customize Bootstrap since SAS allows us to use variables, nested rules, mixins, functions, and more, all with a fully CSS-compatible syntax. There are many benefits of using SAS to customize the Bootstrap default styles. Using SAS, we can modify global settings, 
typography, and a color palette and easily customize Bootstrap components from only one place. SAS is also a lot easier and quicker to work with and on top of that, the compiled file size can be optimized to reflect the actual elements and features being used. In addition, SAS helps keep large style sheets well organized and makes it easy to share designs within and across projects. For these reasons, using SAS to customize Bootstrap 5 is the recommended approach. If you want maximum control and possibilities, you should customize Bootstrap using SAS. This requires a SAS compiler, some knowledge of the SAS language, and knowledge of the Bootstrap SAS files. The app uses the CoinGecko API to get cryptocurrency data such as live prices, trading volume, exchange volumes, historical data, crypto categories, images, and more. The CoinGecko API is a very comprehensive API powered by the world's largest independent crypto data aggregator. Through the CoinGecko API, we get access to over 13,000 cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP tracked across over 500 crypto exchanges. We also get access to comprehensive historical data across all cryptocurrency categories. The CoinGecko API is a free and publicly available crypto API. There are no API keys required. The CoinGecko free API has a rate limit of 50 calls per minute. If you need more, you can check out their paid plans. However, if up to 50 calls per minute is all you need, the free plan should be sufficient. Just remember that if you are going to use the CoinGecko API, attribution is required so that you can give credit to CoinGecko for providing you with the cryptocurrency data. We do it here in the footer where we say data provided by CoinGecko. To get access to this project, go to the project's GitHub repository you can find the link in the description section below. Next, click the download zip button to download the code. Once you have downloaded and unzipped the project, open it in Visual Studio Code. Before we start, make sure that you have all the prerequisites installed on your machine. The prerequisites for this project are Node.js and Visual Studio Code. From within Visual Studio Code, we can also install various extensions that can speed up our work and improve our productivity. We will use two Visual Studio Code extensions, Live SAS Compiler and Live Server. Live SAS Compiler allows us to compile SAS files to CSS files in real time. It will watch a SAS file for changes and then it will automatically compile that SAS file into a CSS file whenever a change is made and saved. We will also be using the Live Server extension to launch a local development server that allows for a live reload of our project. First, install all the required dependencies. To do that, open the terminal and from the root directory run npm install. To start the application, we will use the live server extension. To start the server, click go live here in the bottom right corner of the status bar in Visual Studio Code. This action will load our web page in your default web browser. If you are wondering, 127.0.0.1 is the IP address for localhost, which is your local computer. The 5500 after the colon is the listening port for our server and after the slash we have index.html which is our web page. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel so you can be notified every time we upload a new video. It really helps with the algorithm to get our videos out there to more and more people so that we can continue making them. We really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.